In this video, we're going to continue working with operations on functions, and this time we're going to subtract functions. We'll see this notation f minus g of x. What that really means is figure out whatever f of x is and subtract from it whatever g of x is. With a number, this is quite simple because all we have to do is evaluate both. Maybe find out what f of 2 is and what g of 2 is, and then we will subtract the results. And with variables, this is even simpler. With variables, we will just subtract the two functions together. And with subtraction, it's really important to use that habit of parentheses. So we're subtracting the entire function, not just the first term of the function. So for example, if we've got f of x, is equal to x minus 4, g of x, x squared minus 6, x plus 8. We're asked to find f minus g of negative 2. Well, what that's really asking us to do is find f of negative 2 and subtract whatever g of negative 2 is. So we need to find both of those. We need to find f of negative 2, which means we're going to plug negative 2 in for x, giving us negative 2 minus 4 which is simply negative 6. Then we need to find the g of x function, or the g of negative 2, which simply goes to the g. Remember, the letter names it. It's not g times negative 2. That just tells us g has negative 2 inside of it. So we have negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. And we'll do some squaring and multiplying to get 4 plus 12 plus 8. And when we add that together, we get 22. The function has asked us to subtract in this case, so we need to subtract these results. So we've got negative 6 from the f, and then we're going to subtract 22 from the g. Negative 6 minus 22 is negative 28, except it's supposed to be negative 24. Let's do 24. Real quick checking, what is 4 plus 12 plus 8? It's 24. So negative 6 minus 24, sorry about that adjustment. Negative 6 minus 24 is negative 30, and I like that answer better. Let's try one with a variable. Here we're told to find f minus g of x, which simply means take f of x and subtract g of x from it. Well, in that case, what is f of x? f of x is simply x squared minus 5x and we're going to subtract whatever g of x is. Well, what's g of x? x minus 5. Now we just have to simplify, first by distributing the negative through. That's a negative 1. Notice it goes through the entire parentheses. That's why the parentheses are important. x squared minus 5x minus x plus 5. That last term is where people get in trouble. Make sure that negative goes all the way through. Combine like terms in the middle, and we get our final answer, x squared minus 6x plus 5. And we have our simplified results. Subtracting functions simply means we evaluate both functions and subtract the results, or we just subtract the functions directly, depending on if we have a variable or a number to work with.